On 7th September 2025, we witnessed a rare and mesmerizing phenomena, the blood moon. This event was captured by sky watchers across Asia, Europe and Africa. Hello and welcome to Drishti IAS. My name is Saloni Nankyolir and in this video, we will understand what a blood moon is. So last night, that is on 7th of September, Asia, Africa and Europe experienced a total lunar eclipse. And in India, the totality of this lunar eclipse lasted from 10 p.m. to 11.22 p.m. Why do we say that the totality lasted from 10 to 11.22 p.m.? Because the eclipse, it occurs in phases. First phase is the penumbral eclipse phase. Then we have the partial eclipse. And then finally, the total eclipse. So the totality lasted from 10 to 11.22 p.m. We'll discuss all these types of phases also in the upcoming slides. But this event, this was a rare event and this was captured by people across the world. And since morning, we have been seeing these pictures flooding the internet. Now, before we understand what a blood moon is, let us start with the basics of a lunar eclipse. What do we mean by a lunar eclipse? So, lunar eclipse is a celestial phenomenon in which the sun, earth and moon, they are perfectly aligned in a straight line. And that phenomena, that alignment is known as syzygy, where the sun, the earth and the moon, they are in perfect alignment and the earth is placed in between the sun and the moon in case of a lunar eclipse. So, the moon is completely overshadowed by the earth. Moon is completely in the shadow of the earth. That is when a lunar eclipse occurs and this occurs on the event of a full moon. Now, we have different types of eclipses based upon the placement of the moon. So, when this moon, this is completely overshadowed by the earth, when it is in the complete total darkness zone, this total darkness zone is known as the umbra. Umbra is the zone which is of complete darkness because earth's shadow is completely overpowering or completely enclosing the moon. So, when the moon is placed in the umbra of the earth, this is known as a total eclipse. Total eclipse when the moon is placed in the umbra of the earth in the total darkness zone of the earth. Then this point, this zone is referred as the penumbra. This is the zone of partial darkness. Some sunlight is able to be here. This is the zone of partial darkness. This is penumbra. Then we have umbra. And then again we have the penumbra. So when the moon is placed somewhere here, half in the umbra and half in the penumbra, then we witness a partial eclipse, partial lunar eclipse. And when do we witness a penumbral lunar eclipse? When the moon is in the penumbra. When it is placed somewhere here, then we witness a penumbral lunar eclipse. So, these are the three types of eclipses, total, partial and penumbral. In case of a penumbral lunar eclipse, only the brightness is slightly dimmed. So, many a times we are not completely able to make out the difference or experience it because the brightness is just slightly dimmed. Sunlight is already passing here. We are able to see the moon, just its brightness is dimmed. That is why we are not able to experience it completely. But in the case of total lunar eclipse and a partial lunar eclipse, we are able to make out the difference. What do we see in a total lunar eclipse? A blood moon. Where we see the moon, but it is slightly red in color. Depending upon the intensity of the scattering of light, we see different phases, different colors of red. We will discuss that in the next slide. But right now, when we see a blood moon, that is the case of a total lunar eclipse. In case of a partial eclipse, we see just some part of the moon. 
some part of the moon is visible some part of the moon is not visible because the sunlight is able to enter just is able to reach only some parts of the moon so partial lunar eclipse we are able to see just some part of the moon and penumbral lunar eclipse we are able to see the complete moon it's just brightness is dimmed and that is why we are not able to completely make out the difference these are these three different types of eclipses now let us understand last night's phenomena which was of a blood moon what do we understand by a blood moon blood moon was simply a moon whose color was red now why was this color red because if you go back to the syzygy this is the sun this is the earth and this is the moon so all the sunlight that's coming in from here it will have to pass the earth's atmosphere so there is a change in medium it will have to pass the earth's atmosphere so two phenomena happen here which are first is the refraction of light and second is the scattering of light refraction of light because there is a change in medium so the sunlight it bends this bending of light this bending of light is known as the refraction of light and this in this bending of light basically the blue light is completely scattered away it's filtered out because of the shorter wavelength and what reaches the moon's atmosphere is the red light because of the longer wavelength so two phenomena come into picture here one is refraction and the second is scattering or Rayleigh scattering so because of the scattering of light because red light is the least scattered it has the longest wavelength red reaches our eye and we are able to see moon as completely red in color so that is why this phenomenon is known as a blood moon now for scattering of light to take place there should be some particles suspended in the atmosphere there should be some particles suspended in the atmosphere only then scattering can take place these particles can be of different types you can have dust you can have smoke particles you can have volcanic aerosols that come out of a volcanic eruption so all these different types of particles only when they are present in the sky can scattering happen so whenever we see a blood moon depending upon the intensity of the color we can identify the amount of pollutants that atmosphere has and this is measured by a scale which is known as the than John scale. This is a five point scale which is used to measure the intensity of this scattering or intensity of the blood moon. So, on a scale of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, this has the least scattering and this has the maximum scattering. So, here you will mostly find a bright orange color of a moon. And here you will find a very deep red or a brownish red kind of a moon because of the intensity of the scattering. And this is measured by which scale? It is measured by the Danjon scale. So now one more question should come to your mind that full moon, it occurs every month. But do we see an eclipse every month? We do not. We do not experience an eclipse every month. Why does this happen? This happens because the moon's orbit is slightly tilted relatively to the earth's orbit in comparison to the earth's orbit moon's orbit is slightly tilted roughly five degrees is the tilt of the moon's orbit that is why the sun earth and moon they are not able to be in a perfect alignment every month because of this tilt of the moon's orbit so uh, lunar eclipse will occur only when the sun earth and moon are in perfect alignment and the moon is placed at one of the nodes which nodes the nodes that we already saw either in the umbra or somewhere here half in the umbra half in the penumbra or completely in the penumbra so whenever the moon is placed in either of these locations only then we'll be able to witness a lunar eclipse otherwise every month we do not see a lunar eclipse because there is a tilt of the moon's orbit in comparison to earth's orbit so that was all for today's video yesterday because of the scattering of red light because of the refraction and because of scattering of red light we were able to see a blood moon because the red light has the longest wavelength and we were able to 
witness moon in completely bright color now yesterday's case was slightly uh, one way also different because yesterday what we saw was not a very deep red or a very brownish red it was slightly clearer it was slightly on the orangish or a copper side and this indicates that our atmosphere has lesser number of pollutants in comparison to some other days so uh, the number of pollutants based upon the number of pollutants the change in color will happen if we have a lot of pollutants in the air a lot of scattering is going to happen and then deeper red is going to come out if we have lesser pollutants in the air then less scattering is going to happen and some orange or a copper color is going to come out so the pollutants are also decided the basically the color of the moon will also decide the amount of pollutants this atmosphere has so that was all for today's video i hope you understood whatever we discussed now let us practice a question for prelims the reason we do not witness a lunar eclipse on every full moon is one the moon does not always rise at night during full moon two the earth's shadow is too small to cover the moon every time three the moon's orbital plane is tilted relative to earth's orbital plane four the sun earth and moon are never in a straight line select the correct answer please provide your answer in the comment section and we will meet in the next video For more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications